Alright folks, today I'm going to show you how to fix a multimeter that won't read voltage. This is a common issue that can be frustrating but with a few simple steps, you can get your multimeter back in working order. If you're here, chances are you've tried measuring voltage and gotten zilch. It can be really annoying when you need to get a reading and your multimeter just won't cooperate. Let's fix that. We'll go through a few troubleshooting steps to identify and solve the problem. First, safety is key. Always prioritize your safety when working with electrical devices. Make sure your multimeter is turned off and you're not connected to any power source. This is crucial to avoid any accidental shocks or damage to the device. Wear insulated gloves and safety glasses. These will protect you from any potential hazards while you work on your multimeter. Okay, let's dive in. Gather all the necessary tools and make sure you have a clean, well-lit workspace. Step 1. Check your batteries. This might seem too simple, but it's often the root cause of the problem. It sounds basic, but batteries are often the culprit. A multimeter with lower dead batteries won't function properly. Open the back cover of your multimeter and replace the old batteries with fresh ones. Make sure the new batteries are inserted correctly. Reassemble it and give it another go. Test it on a known voltage source to see if it's working. If it still doesn't read voltage, move on to step 2. Sometimes the issue is more than just the batteries. Step 2. Inspect the fuses. Fuses are critical components that protect your multimeter from electrical overloads. Most multimeters have internal fuses that protect against overloads. These fuses can blow if the multimeter is subjected to too much current. To access them, remove the back cover again. Be gentle to avoid damaging any internal components. Locate the fuses, which usually look like small glass tubes. They are often easy to spot once you have the back cover off. If any are blown, replace them with fuses of the same rating. Using the wrong type of fuse can cause further issues. Reassemble and test your multimeter. If it's still not working, let's go to step 3, the probes. Step 3, check the probes. Probes are the parts that come into direct contact with the voltage source and they can wear out over time. Over time, probes can wear out. This wear and tear can cause inaccurate readings or no readings at all. Check for any visible damage or wear on the probes and the wires. Look for frayed wires, bent tips, or any other signs of damage. If they look bad, it's time to replace them. Damaged probes can't conduct electricity properly, leading to faulty readings. You can get new probes at any electronics store. Make sure to get the right type for your specific multimeter model. Plug in the new probes and test again. Hopefully this resolves the issue. Now if you've tried all of these steps and your multimeter still won't read voltage, it's time for step 4, the internal components. This step requires a bit more technical know-how. This step is a bit more advanced. You'll need to be comfortable working with small electronic components. Open the back cover and carefully inspect the circuit board for any obvious damage, like burnt components or broken solder joints. These can prevent the multimeter from functioning correctly. If you find any, you may need to replace the damaged parts or solder the broken joints. This can be tricky if you're not experienced with soldering. If you're not comfortable doing this, it's best to take it to a professional. They have the tools and expertise to fix these issues safely. Before we wrap up, here's a quick recap. Let's go over the steps one more time to make sure you've got everything covered. First, check and replace the batteries. This is the simplest and often the most effective fix. Second, inspect and replace any blown fuses. Fuses are essential for protecting your multimeter from electrical damage. Third, check your probes for damage and replace if necessary. Good probes are crucial for accurate readings. And fourth, inspect the internal components for any visible damage. This step is more advanced but can be necessary for fixing deeper issues. There you have it. With these steps you should be able to get your multimeter reading voltage again. Remember safety first. With these steps you should be able to get your multimeter reading voltage again. Remember safety first. Always take precautions to protect yourself and your equipment. If in doubt, consult a professional. They can provide expert assistance and ensure your multimeter is repaired correctly. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more home repair tips. See you next time. Your support helps us create more.